Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be focusing on EPG issues and solutions. Like EPG stopped updating, force reload button not working, or the cron issues. Before getting in, make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable the bell icon. Reach me out on Telegram at Lofatech for paid services and check out the description for references. Plus, you can always write down your comments below. So on our extreme UA panel, we'll be adding a new EPG that we got as trial from epgguide.net and let's see if it works fine. So on our extreme UA panel, I'll go to settings, EPG, add EPG and then I'll go to epgguide.net to get their two days of free trial for their EPG service that we are going to use in this tutorial. So it seems our trial has been activated, I'll go to my EPG then I'll go for Albania and copy the URL that we are going to use to our panel. Paste the copied URL, type the name and add it. After adding, click on Force EPG Reload and it will instantly pop up saying it's completed. It did instantly because the source field is invalid or empty. The reason it's saying invalid is cause I pasted the URL with space. Let's remove the space and see if the source field is now showing the provider name. Now if everything is fine, force EPG reload button should work. If it's still not working, we need to fix our EPG crone. To do so, log in to your server as root and go to Lofotex tips page and search for EPG crone fix. Then apply all these three commands one by one. The first will backup the original crone file. Then the second command will replace the broken EPG file with the fixed one. And the third command is going to work as force EPG reload. Now back to your panel and keep reloading EPG page until you see the last updated time and date. Mostly it just takes a few seconds and you can see it's updated to me. I'll delete this and try adding another one and let's see how it goes. And by the way you don't need to run commands every time cause the force reload button is now going to work. I'll repeat the same process to add the EPG again and this time just using force EPG reload button. It successfully updated the EPG and now have a quick look adding EPG to a stream. You can edit any of your existing streams, but I'll be adding a new one because I don't have one. Go to EPG section of your stream. EPG source is uh, your country. EPG channel ID is your channel name and just save it and you're done. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. If so, consider subscribing to my channel and write down your thoughts. That's all for now.